One of the most enjoyable times in a baseball day, about 2.30 in the afternoon, out on the field with former college teammates or maybe minor league players that went through some very tough bus rides, get together and start talking about subjects of the day. In this time, a very common theme, the Orioles bullpen. Can you compare Batista to Emmanuel Classe and the best hitter in the group? looked up and said, don't be ridiculous. You can't compare anyone to Clausé. I mean, he's got this cutter. It's the length of a bat, only it's 102 miles an hour. Now he's got this little leg twist that he does in his delivery. You can't pick the ball up. If I stood there and he wanted to throw in on me, it might go behind me. Austin Hedges looked up at me the other day and said, he's got it today, uh, good luck. We all know exactly how tough Clausé can be but think about catching. Sandy Alomar works with the Cleveland catch. She's one of the best. And he says to them, when Clossé is pitching, forget about framing. Just catch the ball. That's all we want you to do. Catch it. That's enough. That's Clossé. At this time last week, Tyler Glasdown threw a seven-inning simulated game, an important step in his rehab comeback. He sat 97 miles an hour with an 87 mile an hour curveball with the spin and deception he had when he broke down after 14 starts, 88 innings, five wins, a 266 ERA, and a 113.57 strikeout walk ratio when he had his Tommy John surgery. 15 months later, the Rays are carefully watching to see when he'll start in the major leagues and whether he'll be able to make four, five, or six inning starts in the postseason in a rotation with Shane McClanahan, Corey Kluber, Drew Rasmussen, Jeffrey Springs, and possibly Shane Boz, who's beginning his comeback from surgery and other options this week. One American League manager thinks that if Glasnow, who many of us had touted for the Cy Young last season, is back for short starts, the Astros and Rays could have the two most powerful rotations in the American League in October. And in Los Angeles, Dave Roberts says that what Dustin May does between now and the 5th of October will determine if he can be a four or five inning starter in the playoffs. May had Tommy John surgery after five starts and 23 innings last season. What most encouraged the Dodgers was just the high 90s velocity he's shown. The Dodger way has always thought Command is more important than velocity when rehabbing arm problems. And in two big league starts and 13 innings, May has struck out 13 and not walked one batter.